from Glen Fairlanes. We're here for the title match of the 2014 Desert Open Handicap Division as two friends, traveling partners, Destiny Johnson and Abby Franklin are playing each other for the title here. Uh, Abby has to beat Destiny by two pins to tie and three to win, and right now it's close. Uh, Dest uh, Destiny with has the two pin lead, so a four pin overall advantage. Two of them go away with that spare eight counts in the fifth frame, so it's a two pin game. Abby having herself a red hot summer. She was the TPC runner up. She won the East Coast JVT's Las Vegas Open last week. And can't do any worse than second here, so second first title match three weeks in a row is fantastic. Destiny, nice form, cross lane, nicely done. Destiny's big claim to fame this year was winning at Red Rock as she became the first uh, parent-sibling combo to win a West Coast JBC set of titles. Pop Raymond won back in 2001, and Destiny won in 2013. Had a couple other cracks at the titles this year, but just that one so far. She'd love to this win this one. It's $500 on top, our beautiful glass cactus trophies. The winner gets five free brackets and 25 free raffle tickets at every tournament they bowl next year. And a quarterfinal buy into the TPC if they qualify for TPC. So lots of goodies to the winner. And I know for a fact Destiny would like that specifically. She finished 13th in points this year. Get that out of the way almost a full year before the next one. Tough little middle cluster here to shoot at. Whoops, and she fouls. One of the bad <laughs> facial reactions tells the story. When you foul in this bowling center, it lets you know it. You, you, you must have. You must have gone and pulled back. This was the foul line. I was right there. The foul lights have been working final. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no reason it wouldn't have gone off. Two things are bad here. When you foul, it sounds like you've uh, punched a baby and the, the alarms go off. And if you throw heaven for bets, if you throw a gutter ball, it goes wham into the gutter here. I mean, boom into the gutters. Hopefully that won't happen. So Destiny has to put that out of her mind and see if Abby can stay within two pins if she can spare this up. She's literally shaking it off to my right, to my left. Or she's just shaking. Or she's ready to smack me. I'm not sure which. Oh! And Abby doesn't quite get the two to cover. So she'll fall behind a little more even with that. I just gotta say that this has been an absolute pleasure to narrate this title match compared to the two brats we just had to do the scratch title match. These two ladies are civil, polite, friendly. Do not run over to lane 30 when they open and go pout. That's good to get the three pin to br uh, break up out of that, maybe a much easier 10 pin. Pulling on the wolf pattern, which is absolutely brutal. You saw the scratch bowlers playing outside. It's a short pattern. That usually means people play to the right. Neither of these girls have a whole lot of hand rotation, so they're not as affected by the pattern. Oh. Nicely done at the 10 pin. She seems pleased with herself. I never get the 10 pin. Never? <laughs> we picked a good time to do it right there. Now, I never get the 10 pin. Say both these girls, nice basic games, down and in, both playing around 15. Some good coaching somewhere along the line for both of them as they hold those follow throughs, and there's that stinking 10 pin again. Let's see if both of these ladies can show us back here how to make them. I have missed so many 10 pins in my life that I'm now running both tournaments. Shot me right out of the game. Couldn't take it anymore. Switches balls to something that's not going to hook hardly at all. 
Cross lane, follow through to target, and that is how you do it, folks. Nicely done by both of them. 15 pin total lead with her handicap added in. Three frames to go for the title. It's the 104th and final tournament of the season. Everything resets after this, and two weeks later we start it all over again up in Washington. And then good old Cliff Castle for the Arizona. That looks pretty done. Oh, gonna go high, but high enough gets the Brooklyn there. Abby and Destiny, part of a foursome that have traveled quite a bit this year with a with a Rihanna and Jared as well. Every one of them has won titles. None of them have averages over 150. So if you're watching this, think, well, I gotta be good to bowl JBT, or I gotta be old. Baloney, horse puppies. Horse puppies. Any age, any average. Nine counts are good right here. Leave yourself makeable spares. No, every spare can be an adventure on this pad. Uh oh. That was, that was a physical miss there. So that's 114 through 8. And Johnson's lead balloons to 27 with that miss. But no lead is safe in the title matches. Don't listen to me. They're not even going to give her a ball back. That was such a bad miss. Pick up that phone there, somebody, and say ball return on, five, on six. Destiny's going to uh, call world headquarters here and have them fix that up. Well done. Nicely played. <laughs> Destiny's got a mean poker face. I think you got a future in the poker industry. So you should learn. You get that. You get that. Whatever look. Yeah. Dead P.S. P.S. Off serving our country. As is a bunch of JBT grads going off. Chris Brown and Curtis Lindemann this year. Many, many, many JBT grads have gone the military route. We appreciate it. We appreciate that ball coming back too. And Abby's going to have to at least mark here. And an X would be even better to stay alive in this match. Very nice ball. Gets the mixer. All right, there's the X. Get that foundation. 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 Get that foundation. Ninth frame strike, and anything can happen. Destiny working with an eighth frame strike. Let's see what she's got left in the tank. 15 games of qualifying. Two rounds of best out of five match play, a single game semi. That is a lot of bowling. She wants to throw her two best shots here in the ninth and tenth if she can. Another Brooklyn four, but another nine count is pretty good. Both girls doing a pretty good job of staying out of trouble in this match. Franklin with nine misses in the fifth and eighth. Destiny only that miss in the sixth, so she's had the cleaner game, which is why she's got the big advantage right now. Again, perfect form again, right at that six pin. Excellent job. What? These are, what, you know, roughly 140 averages? His bowlers, and that's eight out of nine clean frames on Wolf. You haven't seen that out of the scratch kids most of the day today. Nicely bold game for Destiny. Any, uh, the best Abby can do is 174. Destiny would fill 18 pins here for 177 to lock it up no matter what Abby does. A little bit wider. Oh, it's not going to hook back, but she avoids the washout. That's huge. 124, a lot better to shoot out than a 12410. Spare strike. Spare strike would lock up a tie. Anything less than spare strike, Abby can win in the 10th. That's got a hook too. 
No, she doesn't get that spare. She finishes a 164, which is a great game for 224. Strike nine spare is 163, which is 221. Abby has to double to win. That is a daunting task. Here's the first shot, though. Oh. Not to be in the first shot of the 10th. And I finally get to say it again, since first time since September. It is your destiny. Your destiny to win this turn. Do you ever see Back to the Future? I am your density. No, that means nothing to you? Oh, you poor girl. Watch that movie someday. Well, a tough 10th frame for Abby, but hey, not too hard. can't feel too bad for her finishing first, second, and first. I'll try again. No. Would you like? No, let's not do that to you. We'll type it in in a minute there. We'll hand out the awards to these two fantastic finalists and wrap up the 2013-14 season. Kyle Duster and Cortez Shank take notes. That's how you do it.